Hey kids, this is JJ again doing an overview of uh, this little devil here. This is the HGLRC XJB F410. This is an Omnibus uh, F4 con flight controller with an all-in-one 10 amp ESC for micro brushless quads. Really looking forward to this. I already looked at it a little bit. Um, the packaging actually comes nicer than this. I already took it apart. Has little foam inserts. Came very nicely packed. Has little standoffs in there. It's going to be really hard to see on a camera, obviously. Um, they interconnect by these pins here. That's the ESC, obviously. It will run D-Shot 600. Uh, BL Heli S, supposedly. I'll find, verify that once I hook everything up. Here's your flight controller. Um, pretty good there. You can see in the top right hand corner, it's got video in five volt and ground right here. Where's my pointer? Right here. Now I read a review where a guy said this was five, 15 volts and this was negative and he fried two VTXs. Eh, I don't see how that's possible, but I will try. I will test this before I hook everything up. I'll go through all the voltages and verify for you what mine does. Um, but yeah, it should be okay. Here's where your VT, I'm sorry, it was this side over here. It's your VTX. He said this one was 15 volts. My mistake. So your voltage here should be 5, negative, and your VTX signal. Uh, he said this was 15 and smoked it. So I'm going to verify on mine before, you know, hopefully I can learn from his, his mistakes. It will do S bus, PPM. It'll do satellite receiver with a three volt. I saw that somewhere right here. Um, I'm not that kind of guy. I do S bus radio link on my stuff. And then you've got an LED signal. And that also shares with the uh, five volt for the buzzer and negative for the buzzer. Buzzer, that's buzzer. So um, if you look on Banggood's uh, website, they do have a very not so great printout of the wiring and it's just about as hard to read as the um <laughs> as the terminals are um but nonetheless i'll be hooking both up the led and the buzzer uh you got five volts up here for your vtx i'm not really sure yeah this would be your negative five volts and your s bus for your receiver and if you're using an all-in-one, I'm not really sure what that guy did. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll look into it. He says he smoked two of them, so I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. The bottom side of this pig, obviously your, your DINs connector here for your bottom, for your ESCs. Um, I've already plugged it in. I flashed it with uh, Betaflight, the latest and greatest 3.17. At the time of this video, uh, flashed up fine. No issues. I use Omnibus F3s and absolutely everything I run. So actually, I think this might be the first F4 I've used. The Tomnibus. I've used F4s that are others. Um, you can see here, there's a little bit of extra on the circuit board, which eh, quality control, no big deal. Um, if yours has that, you can just, boom, gone. No big deal. Looks like a pretty neat little controller. I I'm impressed so far. We'll see what happens, how it flies. Um, the ESC. This is 10 amp. Should be running BL Heli S. Um, I have not verified that yet. I will when I plug it in. So you've got your direction. So to match up your direction with your flight controller direction, you can obviously see these little white arrows here. Um, and that'll help you line up those, those dins underneath. Um, and it has standoffs in the box. So you can build the little guy up. Pretty cute. Um, here's your battery in dink, dink. this will run off of from 2 to 3S if I remember correctly um, I'll read off the specs here in a minute so obviously you're going to have motor 1 here motor 2 here motor 3 here motor 4 here and that's really all you've got on this guy um, pretty straightforward 10 amp ESC I believe with a 30 amp burst so this thing should haul ass i'm putting dys um 1104 7000 kv motors on this thing so it should uh, fly like a scalded dog i'll read the specs real quick because my memory's crap i just got this thing um mpu 6000 processors uh, cpu dual 8000s which is normal black box it does have black box flash of 16 that's pretty cool 
2 to 4S LiPo. My mistake. Wow. Okay. Built-in beta flight OSD. Um, excited about that. I don't even build a system without OSD anymore. 25 by 25 board, um, but it's a 20 millimeter hole stance, which is standard. Supports PPM, SBUS, DSMX receiver, 10 amp, 2 to 3S, BL Heli S, 4 and 1 ESC. Okay. Um, so I was right. It is 2 to 3S. That's really misleading when they say 2 to 4S up here, 2 to 3S down here. <laughs> Odd. I'm never going to run a 4S on a micro. I mean, I have a hard enough time flying with a 3S. Uh, input voltage 2 to 3S, constant current 10 amp, peak current 30 amp. Um, there's a basic view of the wiring. Nothing. It's pretty straightforward. Not hard to do. It does have a boot button, which I did not have to use. The only time you'll need to use that is if you soft brick it, obviously, or your uh, computer isn't set up. Here's your buzzer. Notice your 5 volts going to 5 volts here and your ground going to ground here. And then your LED ground is over here, LED signal, and that's going to share the same 5 volt voltage for your LED. So that's pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy. Easy access micro uh, USB. So it's going to come right off to the left side of the quad if that's how you... I really recommend you don't offset this just because it does have a mating um, ESC underneath it. And then you... If you rotate it, then you have to worry about your wires going in the right place, or you have to remap them in beta flight, and, and which you can do. It's not hard to do, but if you're new to building these things, it's kind of a, a pain in the ass. So, super psyched to do this. I'm going to put this in my new uh, Fly Egg 100 frame today, hopefully, and uh, qualify it. Make sure all the voltages are kosher, and uh, we'll try it out. So, in about 30 seconds, I'll be back. Take care. Be right back. And it's been 30 seconds. Here's the consensus. I put the tower in uh, in the uh, King Kong Fly Egg 100. It works great, no problems whatsoever. Um, I did. I was able to flash uh, new firmware, the latest and greatest uh, firmware, onto the ESC, and uh, I set up the flight controller in Betaflight. Absolutely zero problems. No, no issues at all. And just for fun, we even got our little Star Wars theme there. So that, that made me happy. So uh, flies great. Uh, there's a review on this frame. You can see some flight footage. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Plenty of power. Uh, didn't get too hot or anything like that. Here's the thing I wanted to check with this and let you know about because I had read a review on um, on this particular flight controller and uh, a guy had said that he had 15 volts coming out and it smoked two of his video transmitters and he is right but it's not the uh, an issue with the board it's an issue with how they tell you to wire it so here's the problem hopefully you can see this Get my trusty pointer here. They tell you in the wiring, and I'll show you in a second, to wire your video transmitter uh, signal here, which is fine. And notice it says V voltage and then negative. But on their wiring diagram, it tells you to wire your, video, your VTX to here. That is bad. This V positive, I instantly took this as not 5 volts, but as battery voltage which it is. I tested it. That's why he had 15 volts here, there, but that is not his fault because this one gets a little smaller. You can see they have VTX signal, blah, 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 and they show you wiring it, the power to here. That is bad, bad, bad. That is battery voltage. So unless your video transmitter can handle uh, 3S or 2 to 3S voltage, you're going to smoke it. So you've got plenty of 5 volts here. you got a 5 volt here, a 5 volt here. You've got, I actually put my camera on this 5 volt here, 5 volt and negative. Then you've got another 5 volt here, which would be for your camera. So there's 5 volt video in, negative. And then here's your video out. Avoid this. I don't know why you would even need this unless your video transmitter can take the full capacity of your battery load, which on most micros cannot. Okay, so please be wary of that. That's where that guy went wrong. Uh, well, he didn't go wrong. That's where they told him to wire it up to on their schematic. Do not do that. 
use this five volts or this five volts or this five volts here, but do not use this. This is actual battery throughput. So whatever your battery is getting, that's what it's going to use. Um, I did test all these with a meter before I hooked it up and everything works fine. It is just literally a bad diagram on their parts. Don't do that. Um, the OSD works great. Everything works great. I had absolutely zero problems with this. It went together really well. Um, the uh, standoffs that they give you worked great, obviously. I mean, it's not rocket science. Um, I did conformal coat, which I do with all of my quads, uh, to waterproof everything or water resistant. Um, so after I get everything soldered up, I paint it with conformal coating. So that one puddle in the desert, I will find and I will sink my quad into it. So, um, I give this thing a big old thumbs up. I really, it went together great. It soldered great. Uh, as for the pads, I soldered everything between 350 and 400 degree. Um, get in and get out with anything that's as small. It doesn't dissipate the heat that fast. Uh, so you don't want to lift any pads. Uh, that's just a habit of mine. But as far as the soldering goes, very easy to do. It's like boom, 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 boom. I had this whole quad built in about mm, 20 minutes. I don't know, something like that. Um, and this frame gives you a lot of room, obviously, to do things with. But this little uh, wouldn't change a thing. I mean, I, th I think uh, it, it was even silk screened fairly well for the size of the board. A lot of those boards have shitty uh, silk screens. But this one was pretty good. Uh, I'd buy it again, definitely. Um, if you have any questions or comments with it, please give me a shout. But other than that, it's extremely straightforward. Just be careful of that little wiring thing. So... Until the next time, keep shiny side up. Take care.